I'm Megan. I'm a model. I just got a spinal fusion um, July 12th, 2013. I had pretty severe scoliosis. My surgeon went in and put in two rods on both sides and about 25 screws and some hooks to straighten me back out. I've been writing about it on a blog because I want to try and encourage people to increase their self-esteem no matter what's wrong with them. So basically I was diagnosed in sixth grade. My doctor told me then that I needed to get surgery because my curve on the top was 30 and the bottom it was in the 30s and I was progressing about five degrees per year. I told her absolutely not and I tried to pursue other things like Pilates, yoga. Unfortunately none of it worked and then last semester my hip broke. All of a sudden my hip starts popping out of place so I go to the doctor and he ends up doing an MRI on my right hip and it's cracked halfway across the bone. If I hadn't have broken my hip, I wouldn't have gotten surgery because I think it's important to realize that everyone has their strengths on their body. I do modeling for designers in Austin. Like I work for a millinery, she makes hats, and I do pageants too. It's helped me a lot. I used to be really shy. Before, I had learned to basically like take this shoulder because it was like it had like the hump here, the rib hump, which is basically where your muscle builds up. So you have like a flat side and then a huge side. So I learned to roll it back and like stand up straight and hold myself. So no one ever really knew. So when people found out that I was getting surgery, they were like, what's wrong with you? And then I showed them and they were like, oh my gosh, we didn't even know. It. I wanted to turn my surgery into something positive. I looked desperately at different blogs about scoliosis before my surgery because that's scary going in. I decided that it would be important for me to try and document the whole process because I didn't get to see that. So I kind of went in blind and I had someone to talk to and she showed me her x-rays but after you're in the hospital you kind of forget because they have you on so many drugs. It was important for me to reach out to people who needed surgery and show them that everything was going to be okay and I also wanted to reach people and show them that they don't need surgery. Scoliosis can cause a lot of self-image problems. I know a lot of people that are not comfortable getting in a bikini or anything like that because they feel deformed and of course doctors call it deformities and it was important for me to show that it's not so I tried to make scoliosis more artistic and show that it can be beautiful, it doesn't have to be something that people look down upon, and that you should own it because you only have one body.